what do we call it again? Is it yeah, what do we call it again? Urban, urban Uncut. There was no Urban Uncut last week because you were on holiday. So you let us down. You actually had time off, which is ridiculous. Um, and then the week before I was on holiday, so I'm sure you've all missed me. It's been two weeks. Size talking about stuff and doing stuff and double busy. Um, so yeah, welcome to this week's thing. How's that for an intro? <laughs> Yeah, he is, yeah. He's kind of, like I said, the first Literally, week, you like, have a couple of weeks off and then you turn into, like... No, TV. but I, look, I said to you, before you start, go, like, your head starts falling off because of what is happening down there, Alex is just going to put the camera on us and we're going to have to make something happen because otherwise we won't get it done, will we? I've got handover in an hour. Oh, You're, look, you... <laughs> it's, like... It's really everything's tough, everything's though. difficult at the moment. Everything. Oh. Is that all right, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Have we actually started? We've. I've already done. So it. I don't have to like fly forward and go. I've already done the intro. I've already okay. done it for you. How good was that, Alex? Out of ten. Was it? Can we do a sub, eight, sub intro? Hey, I said right. Okay, you. Do, well, I'll, I'll just finish this. Is the last thing I've got to do. You do a a, a, a secondary intro. Well, first thing I've got to do, guys, is apologise for last week because we didn't upload a video and we got a little bit of grief. There was a few DMs basically saying, what's happening? Is it all going to... Going... <laughs> Short answer. <laughs> Short answer. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's all... Yeah, mostly the last two weeks, um, it has been going to... Um, for many, many reasons, mostly stock. Um... As anyone in the car industry knows, everything is very, 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 very hard to get hold of at the moment. Car prices are through the roof. Um, and we're just trying to soldier on. Obviously, we've got orders in the system that we've had in there for six months, but yeah, it's tough. We'll show you outside in a moment as we go into the workshop. You can see the sheer level of cars that people have booked in with us. We have got so many customer cars booked in like I've never, I've never seen it. It's like a sea. Uh, it's literally. Just, we need I've someone. Just... We need Moses to pop in, and like part the sea of cars. You went off as well on holiday. Yeah. Everyone was on holiday at the same time, and Aaron, I was on me. Aaron own. helped me out. Thank you, Aaron, for covering my my, my stuff and bits and pieces. He didn't really cover. He said he didn't like you while he was away. I don't blame him. <laughs> I keep just chucking everything his way. Aaron, look after that, look after that, look after that. Let's, so, um, just quickly, right, so let's, um, we was obviously gonna have a brainstorming session today. You can see the state of the table. So this is our RS650 Project Defender. Um, this is, this is the, by the way, this is just the work, this is what Simon's brain looks like inside. If you're just gonna knock that open, open it up, this is it. Like, you know, calipers, lettering, Grills, plastic bits, graphics. So let's um let, let's go let's go through a little bit of this. I don't mind giving a few teasers. So one thing that we want to do on the RS650. So up until now we have used standard uh, plastic injected letters, which serve a purpose. They put our branding on the bonnet. But one thing that we we do want to do is go for a more premium finished letter. So we've been 3D printing various different letters, different sizes over the last couple of weeks, and we've finalized on a new design, which is basically gonna be cast out, uh, it's like a, a metal casting, where basically they pour the aluminium in, they'll polish it, and they'll finish it in, uh, like in black chrome, and then they'll fill inside this little hole just here. Uh, I think we're going for a more, be a more beveled edge one, so it's got a premium finish, slightly larger than this but they'll fill in the, this area here, which will have a honeycomb pattern in the background, and we can fill it in with various different colors. So on the RS650, which See, has got a red cube. Most can... people think this is, this is such a small, tiny detail on a, on a 650 brake horsepower. Do you know how much you're tooling on this Cut. cost? Go on. 10,000 pounds. For the lettering on the bonnet. Yeah, so this is gonna cost 10,000 pounds to make this let these letters, but that doesn't include the cost to make them. That's just that, to just make the tool. tool. It, yeah. yeah, just to make the tool. So that's the level of. Um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 yeah, the, the level that we go to on a on a 
on a, and this is our first proper special limited edition it's vehicle, and it's it, special so. run. It's only going to be sixty. It's actually going to be sixty six because there's going to be one prototype double zero, which mm -hmm. I'm going to keep for myself. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably sell it when someone offers on so it. This, this drives me mad. Can you just keep a car? Yeah. Can you just keep it? Just keep it. Because it'd be nice to have a demo. It'd be nice, like... Well, you don't need a demo of that, because hopefully we're going to sell all 65 and it's not going to matter. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it for a while. Anyway, so what we've done, we've, 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 we've two, already... Three weeks. Two, three weeks. So no, no, two... no, no, I'll keep it for a little bit longer than that. Um, so one thing that we've done done from the, the last couple of weeks videos, we've actually sold about four or five slots already. Mm. Uh, we have held some numbers back for particular customers. We've held number three back, number 11 back, because there are some, some customers that we know have a little bit of a ring uh, around a, a particular number. Yeah, it's like their lucky number, or yeah. it's like the date of the, the, like the birth of their kid, or something like that, and it's yeah. a special number to them, which is, which is pretty cool. But this has consumed you, hasn't it, the yes. last yeah, couple actually, of months? Yeah, so we've got calipers, we've been, doing different sizes we've got a plaque so we've 3d printed this plaque which goes inside the defender so on the right hand side down by the steering wheel this is going to be an anodized plaque which will have the car number on it not sure whether we'll put our signatures on mine uh, and do you want to while we're on v8 do you want to speak about the the james bond edition <coughs> the, the, uh, yeah I don't, I don't know whether what i should say and how i should say it it's it's not it's like, not special. Da, 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 da. That's what I'd want. You, Every time the door opens, I'd want the James Bond theme tune to go. Da, 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 well, you da, get da, 007 on the puddle lights. That's another thing. I, I've been investigating how to do puddle lights today. So if you are a puddle light glass supplier, get in touch with me because I haven't. I literally, this is convention time. I haven't got a clue how to change a puddle light so if you are a puddle light supplier, puddle lighters i mean i don't even know whether that's an actual business but if it is a it business must be. yeah um, yeah so this, this james bond thing yeah, and I, I, it just so you put five 007 badges on and a 007 puddle light and then you limited run that and you only do 300 cars and they've, they've all sold which is great have they really but that's what i put in my post the fusion of two mega brand yeah. sells that. Yeah, of course. Whereas we're doing this, and, and, and the basis of our special edition is off probably a hundred thousand pounds worth of tooling of new options that we'll only do on this yeah, car. Yeah. You know, we've got a, we've got a, a full carbon vented bonnet, like the whole, the whole thing's carbon with quad vents on it. We've got replacement top and side vents with carbon overlays. We've got different calipers. We've got new DRL lights, which replace the, you know, we, we're working on a new square DRL, which is going to go with the top lights. So all of this we've put into product individuality mm. rather than just, you know, I don't know, we could go to someone like Quicksilver, Paul Smith. We could, yeah, we could approach yeah, yeah. another brand and do a limited the edition. The Stone Island, Island edition, oh, 90 V8. Imagine that on the back of a seat, a little Stone Island badge or something. <laughs> that would be so if that, cool. If that comes to fruition, that would actually be quite cool. I, I was going to poo-poo that there. You were going to poo-poo it, but like a little Stone Island badge on the caliper there. Oh, my days. You're going to get slated for that. Can oh, you get in the comments now and just tell him whether it's a good idea or a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> they'll hate it. They'll absolutely hate it. And they'll mug me off and it will ruin my Friday evening. So yeah, so um, you know, plaques, badges, various different ways of doing it. I think we've finalized on something here, which I'll show you the details of. You can see my dirty fingernails. Instead. Are you gonna put are you gonna put like a a, a signed off signature by Simon Dern, like Enzo well, Ferrari? I was until you <laughs> mugged me off. <laughs> Uh, what else have we done? Uh, we have done... Right, so we've done some R&D on some new arches as well. Oh, R&D, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. Come back to me once we've you've finished. We've got the wide track arches, which have been signed off now. They're coming through production. And then we've got this cool front canard that goes on the bumper as well. So that's going on there. We've got the front DRL housing with the DRLs. Uh, Again, that, the 3D printer died on us halfway through, so I won't show you too much of that. So that's the latest on the RS650 project. We've probably sold about, maybe about nine or 10 allocations already. So get in touch if you're interested. It's gonna be 65 limited run. When I say limited, limited. So once again, Lenny's stock vehicles. Do you remember what happened last time? I had that black RS6 in stock, available. And it lasted, what, one hour? One hour, literally yeah, one, one hour. hour. We got a stock car from a cancelled order. Uh, 
This is a bring, brand, brand bring new... Bringing the dancing girls to, to, you know, just make it look even... <laughs> Get okay, some keys. Because they've locked it with the this window. This is the loudest open. alarm ever. It's got an alarm on it, along with a really nice body kit. Why do they lock them? Don't do it. Right, they lock them with the windows open. That's why. That's why. It no, it's because I lent on it. Yeah, but it's. It... Anyway. <laughs> what the. <laughs> Right, so we've got the first human car that's got a mind of its own. Right, so this is our T6.1 Combi. It's brand new, delivery miles, full interior, full kit. It's ready to go. It's it, Yeah, it's got delivery miles, guys. If you... <laughs> it's Gav, like, just keeps pressing the button. Ah, that's what it is, he's pressing the key over there. Yeah. Um, black with yellow stitch. Yeah, it looks cool. Looks awesome. Yeah, so Alex, you want to do a little run round of this vehicle now? So here is its natural habitats. At the Urban Automotive Showroom, we have a very rare stock vehicle. With customers poaching these vehicles <laughs> at all time, they're very rare, very on the verge of extinct, but we have one here in the core of the showroom. <laughs> Good. Is that making it sound special? Yeah. The, the Nyon Extinct stock vehicle. <laughs> yeah, the Nyon Extinct stock. Yeah. Back in the day when the stock was available, these were there was an abundance, but now yeah. they are extinct. <laughs> and we have a very rare from the dead version of the T6.1. With, I've done it. Engine of grey, full carbon kit, 20-inch wheels, you black with said, yellow, in stock, ready to go. Give coolly, a shout. Coolly priced at one million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We've actually done um, our first panel van um, with the new kit. Uh, this is for one of our trade partners. They're loading us up with their, with their panel vans. This one will actually be for sale as well. So if you're interested in a panel van, get in touch. It won't be through us, it'll be through one of our partners, but it's ready to go, it's ready to collect. So that's pretty cool. What? I like a panel van. Oh, that's a van to me. I like a van van. That's a van. I like it, with, it? The, with the roof rail. And it's just, it's just, look, it's just a, it's just a clean... Why do I like the twin opening door as well? It looks cool from the back. Yeah, it's a van, isn't it? I like it, it's a van. So it's one thing that van. people don't realise what we had to do, when we built the T6.1, the back bumper and the rear spoiler is completely different for the panel van. So we had to spend about £40,000 extra tooling two rear bumpers and two sets of rear spoilers. Looks slightly different from the back, but, you know. This, is, cool. a, this is a Spanish one as well. Why? El Manuel. Ah. That was, <laughs> that was like a dad joke. I'm the only dad around yeah, here. I know, just yeah, I yeah, so know. El see, Manuel. Yeah, El Manuel. Manuel. Yeah. Morning. Morning, morning mate. How you doing? Morning. Say morning to the camera. Morning, guys. That's Hubert, one of our detailers. He's the man. King Hubert. Chief detailer. Black RS6 going through prep to go out next week. One yeah, of my so customers. These have been hugely popular. I didn't think they would be that mad, but we've got maybe sort of 26, 27 kits still in the queue, and we've had that level of back order since day one. So yeah, crazy. I mean, we've got the RS Q8 and the RS4 going through now, so that'll be coming soon. RS4 is very similar to this, like a baby version of the RS6. But yeah, I'm really excited about the, the ones that we've got coming through. Merlin Purple. Yeah, we've got a Merlin Purple car coming through. We've got a Sepang Blue car Which coming Which we haven't through. built yet, have we? No, we haven't built. Obviously, we've done Audi exclusive colours on those. They're available, so if you want to get in touch about an RS6, there's, there's going to be a mega Merlin Purple one coming That's going through. to look awesome. Because yeah. like, we've only done black and greys, haven't yeah. we? You know, and that's coming in December. Yeah. Give me a shout. So, um, this was the car that came in a few weeks ago. And I, and I swear the customer saw the previous one we'd done in Grigio Telesto because he's identical spec. Yeah. This is what I said before. So this has had our, literally everything that we do, carbon wing mirrors, carbon side vents. It's having the carbon trims in here. It's got the wide arches, the eyebrows, which are just being bonded in, and also the tuning fork. So you have got a complete carbon overload on yeah. the front of this car. I think it's, um, I think we should probably do a little walk around video of that now. <laughs> I don't 
really know what's going on around here, mate. You still recording? Two, got, ah, yeah, oh, right, that's all good. Um, <laughs> I think that's standard. I think everyone at home, at home, everyone at home. Oh, oh really? So. It's got the exhaust as well. It's also got the performance exhaust on it as well. Give it a rev, Dan. It's really annoying when people do their job, isn't it? Know. You know, you just want to get on. Look at him. <laughs> He's looking in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, until I've spoken to my customer, I kind of don't want to say that's available because he's very, very interested in that. So my no, customer, no, 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 my no, customer no. Deposit secures, you know the deal. I know, we but... Have, um, we have two Bentley GTs. Again, one and a half. These are similarly as rare <laughs> as the T6.1, which is almost extinct. I like so that, I've, I like that. That's a good thing. I've, Cars I've got, are nearly extinct and we have a few left. I've got a customer with a Bentley Bentayga in exactly the same spec as this, black with black level with red stitch. So his wife needs the, the GT version. So um, he came in yesterday and looked at that and fell in love with it. And now we've just got to work out some figures and hopefully get that dipper in. Okay, um, Alex, can you just send that customer the link before it goes live in half an hour, yeah? Cool. <laughs> yeah, so two Bentley GTs, black with red stitch, and we've also got one with full cream interior as well. Both having full kit. Forged wheels, all uh, carbon aero, one's having forged carbon, one's having standard carbon. We actually need to decide what goes on what, oh, actually. Oh, okay. So we need to decide what one's having forged, what one's having normal. Right, okay. You well, want that one to have normal, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, we'll do it that way around. Right, okay. <laughs> He's just gone to answer the phone in private. No, He's it got... wasn't. I'll, I'll tell you what it is. No, I'll no, no. You're all mic'd up. And Alex has just listened to the voice. Did you hear it? Right <laughs> through the head. Right. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> I'll translate because she's Scottish. She's Scottish. So Scottish. basically, our Staffordshire Bull Terrier Franco uh, woke me up at four o'clock this morning for a for an explosive <laughs> in the garden. I don't know what he's picked up. I don't know what he's eaten. That was Holly just messaged me to say, "Look back on the CCTV to That's see probably, the, probably haggis, to mate. see the, to see the shock on his face when this thing poured out of his little ass." Bless him. So um, we've got we've got a little dog at home. But yeah, so did you? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me, Franco. Good. Morning. I don't know whether this is actually part of the build program, but according to this. Liam is ready for rent. <laughs> um, Liam's one of our technicians. And oh. Yeah, I mean, if anyone's interested, Liam's ready for rent. I'm not sure what kind of rent. Don't know what he's worth. I don't, yeah. I'm... Someone please rent him. Well, do we rent. want him on long-term rent or just short-term rent? Rent to rent buy. Rent to buy. Right, so Liam is ready to rent to buy. One other thing that we've been looking at as well that I want to show you is some new uh, carbon V8 parts. Uh, we just got this V8 coming for a customer car. And because we're doing some R&D test fit on the carbon parts, they're probably going to end up with a free carbon kit because we don't want to put it all the way in and take it back out. It's about an eight hour install, taking all of the interior apart. But you can see here, so we've got carbon center dash, what are these side called? rails? Side rails, arms. Side arms, yeah. Interior arms. Center console arms. Yeah. The side bits. Side bits. Um, Do you know what's interesting, which handle. I didn't realize yesterday, and um, Mike pointed and it out, the because, he had, well. because he had one, only one of these. You've got a handle this side. And you, yeah, but you've got, you don't uh, you've have got it the, that side. pull handle this side because you, you, you can't get to the buttons on the other side. No. Um, and one thing that we're going to do on this, now that we, we've done it and signed off, I'm actually going to get etched in here the little crest. So we'll, nice. put, so we'll put something in here and then maybe a pin line along here. I've, I've, I've got a bit of a secret for the RS650. I don't know whether I should yeah. say it or not. Yeah, no, don't say it. Don't say it. No, no, don't, say don't say it. Got to rein him in, haven't we? We do have to rein him in. He'll just like, rah, tell everyone everything. 
I'll leave a little bit of, ones. leave a little bit of like, you know. Okay, it's coming soon, yeah. With a bucket seat and a red stitch. Oh, oh it's just, no, just <laughs> naughty, naughty. I'm hoping you'll want to just keep triple zero, just keep it. Triple zero now? Triple zero. Well, it's, it's zero six five, isn't it? So it's going to be zero zero double zero. O, double o six five. <laughs> License to <laughs> things up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, us versus their special edition is, you know, we're we're menial. But I'm hoping that the the RS six fifty theme can run through because you've got to think the next SVR is going to have similar horsepower to this, so we can uplift it to six fifty. The new Vogue will have a similar. So. You know, we can get something going through the range where the the branding becomes synonymous. Yeah, synonymous. 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 Do you know what to... I'm just thinking about, which sort of upset me a little bit? What? All the A007 number plates that are going to be on those defenders. A007 and then their initials. Initials. A007. Oh, God. Yeah, I know, but remember the one we had? I, I bought A007 death. And you sold it with the car. I sold it with the car. What an idiot. You've just reminded me of that. So that's that's. Um, I had A007 Herb <laughs> and A007, A007 yeah. Death. Yeah. That's 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 his day oh, ruined you've now. You've literally ruined my day now. Remember, you sold them with. I, the, now they what would I be doing now? They I'd were be parading expected. around with a yeah. number plate, giving it giving it the giving it large. No, <laughs> oh, giving it charge. <laughs> Ginger Cavi, <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll talk about this now because what have you just mentioned? The urban story, oh, how man. this has been created. And what do we say every week at the end of the video? So the open story is coming soon. Um, blah blah blah. No, but, but you know what? It's quite fitting because one, we need to see all of your questions. Yeah, we've had a few come through, but we need to see more of your questions. What you want to know? But quite fitting. I'm actually going to look at another. I haven't told you this. I'm going to look at another thirty thousand square foot unit next week. Really? Yeah, another one of these. Yeah, round the corner. Wow. One mile. Well, so the for more production. Or. Yeah, production. I'm letting you to the secrets here. Right, okay. Production and HQ will stay here. Perfect. So, because well, I'm, I'm comfortable at my desk. I know you don't like change. I don't like change. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some other things will move around there, but well, we just need more space. We, for can, we, we cannot build the amount of cars. I had a fantastic meeting with a new car manufacturer last week, which was like amazing. New car coming out mm -hmm. um, that we may may be involved in. Um, We've got some real cool opportunities with VW Transporter, like big opportunities, mm -hmm. like you know, like volume builds. And we can't do uh, we that. We just here can't build it. We can build 55 to 60 cars a month here, and we could honestly, we could build double that. Yeah. Without without a blink. So do we need more staff then? Do we need technicians? We and need everything. Yeah. Yeah, we need everything. I mean, we employed some people la uh, last week. The job adverts are still live. They're on LinkedIn. They're on our profiles and things like that. And so, this yeah. is why it's so important to do the story of Urban and how you created it. Because from going from two defenders on your driveway to this is ridiculous. In seven years, yeah, is ridiculous. Massive, so we yeah. need to, yeah. So any more questions and um, yeah, that that needs to be done sort of fairly sharpish. So guys, that's it for this week. It's good to be back. Oh, oh that's Actually, it. Feels good to be back. I've got little goosebumps working really? with you again. Yeah, week off. That's nice. Nice. That's nice. That's, that's actually a nice thing you said. Can you save that and clip it for me and put it on all like sort of Lenny DVD, Game DVD VHS, <laughs> like any kind of format You're saying possible VHS. to say Everyone watching this, probably 90% of the people do not know what VHS but, 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 stands but I, for. I do you know what VHS stands for? Do you know what VHS stands for? Should you should. You, You're a videographer. You're a videographer and you don't know what it is. And you don't know the is. history of video. Do you know what Betamax is? Oh no, you've oh lost me. God. Yeah, you've lost me there. I don't know. Betamax was the shit version of VHS before it came out. We're talking like tape, <laughs> CD, MP3, streaming. But you yeah, know? That, I just want you to click that up for me. So, like Simon missed me and said it's nice for me to be back, and I gave him goosebumps. That's nice. No, no, no. I meant it's nice to be back recording again. Oh. <laughs> Right, Not okay, so it's brought it back down again. So, yeah. right, scrap everything I just said. Let's wrap it up. I've got stuff to do. Subscribe. See you next week. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> well, Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, You've got yeah. To remember that bit. It, we got some momentum going the other week with people clicking the subscribe button. So, subscribe. Do it now. Everyone, it subscribe, like, please. Your word penetration again. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so, when did you say penetration? I don't know. I said penetrate. <laughs> like, you need me here. <laughs> you need me here to rein you in sometimes. Like, well, we was going out in the car and I said, Thanks for everyone subscribing last week. We had some great penetration. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <subscribers>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. No penetrating. <laughs>